Have you ever stumbled upon a TV series that left a lasting imprint on your memory? For those who encountered the 1975 series Switch, the answer might be a resounding yes. Whether it was the first time you watched the show or a particular scene that resonated with you, Switch has a way of staying with its audience. Now, think back to the initial moment you tuned in. What was it about Switch that captured your attention? Perhaps it was the intriguing plotline or the chemistry between the characters. For many, the series holds a unique place in their television watching history. As we delve into some random facts about Switch, consider the impact it had on both the entertainment landscape and personal experiences. Did you uncover a gem of a memory related to the show? Share your most cherished moments or personal anecdotes in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories and memories associated with this TV series. To set the stage, did you know that Switch marked a notable presence in the detective genre during its run? The show, featuring a clever blend of crime solving and humor, followed the exploits of two protagonists navigating the criminal underworld. It was a time when television was evolving, and Switch played its part in shaping the narrative. Now, as we explore the series further, consider this. Did you have a favorite character or episode that left a lasting impression? The beauty of Switch lies in its ability to elicit varied responses from its audience. Share your thoughts, reminisce about the good times, and let us know what made Switch a memorable experience for you. Your contributions add depth to the collective appreciation of this classic series. Switch, a classic TV series that aired in the mid-1970s, was a crime drama infused with a blend of wit and sophistication. The show, known for its distinctive narrative style, followed the exploits of two charming con men, Pete Ryan and Frank McBride, who navigated the underworld of Los Angeles, taking on cases that involved unraveling intricate schemes and outsmarting criminals. The duo, played by Eddie Albert and Robert Wagner, formed an engaging partnership, their camaraderie and banter adding a lighthearted touch to the crime-solving narrative. The clever premise of using their skills for good gave the show a unique flavor in the detective genre. Beyond its entertaining plot lines, Switch left an indelible mark on popular culture by seamlessly merging crime-solving with humor, creating a dynamic that set it apart from its contemporaries. The iconic characters, sharp dialogues, and the show's distinct visual style contributed to its enduring legacy, making it a standout in the annals of television history. Switch not only entertained audiences, but also paved the way for future crime dramas to explore the lighter side of detective work showcasing that solving crimes could be both clever and amusing. In a surprising twist, Switch, the 1975 crime drama, revealed an off-screen connection between its stars. Long before sharing the screen, Robert Wagner and Sharon Gless were lifelong fans of Eddie Albert, the seasoned actor who brought the character Pete Ryan to life. Their admiration began in childhood, creating an interesting backdrop to the dynamic partnership portrayed on the show. While Eddie Albert and Robert Wagner's on-screen chemistry captivated audiences, the real-life age difference between them added another layer to their relationship. In a notable episode, Max stepped into a surrogate father role for Pete. The irony was that off-camera, Albert was a substantial 24 years older than Wagner, showcasing the depth of their on-screen connection. In the final season, the series took a new turn as Pete Ryan found a home above Malcolm Ardo's bar. This unexpected move in the storyline added a fresh dynamic to the show's narrative, keeping viewers engaged until the end. These behind-the-scenes insights into the cast's relationships and the evolution of the characters highlight the multifaceted nature of Switch. Beyond its crime-solving plotlines, the series provided a glimpse into the personal connections and dynamics that fueled its success. The unexpected twists, both on and off the screen, contributed to Switch's unique place in television history, leaving a lasting impression on viewers. Switch not only paved the way for crime dramas to explore the lighter side of detective work, but also showcased the intricate relationships that formed the backbone of the show. As we delve into the layers of Switch, it becomes clear that the series was more than just a crime drama, it was a tapestry of connections and unexpected moments that defined its legacy. Just after the conclusion of Switch, Eddie Albert and Sharon Gless teamed up again, making a joint appearance in the series Crash. While Switch bid farewell to the small screen, this post-cancellation collaboration showcased the enduring connections forged during the show's run. 
Notably, the television career of Sharon Glass, one half of Switch's engaging duo, found momentum and launched through the series. This transition from Switch to subsequent projects solidified Glass as a notable figure in the television landscape. Moreover, the repeated line delivered by Frank McBride in Switch was drawn from It Takes a Thief, Robert Wagner's initial television venture. This intertextual link not only highlights Wagner's enduring presence in the TV realm, but also adds an intriguing layer to the dialogues within Switch. The borrowing of this line serves as a subtle nod to Wagner's television roots, emphasizing the interconnectedness of TV narratives and the actors who bring them to life. In the wake of Switch's conclusion, these offshoots and connections underscore the impact the series had on its cast members' careers and the broader television landscape. The collaborative efforts post-Switch speak to the lasting bonds formed during its production, further solidifying the show's significance in the annals of television history. In the world of 70 Seconds crime dramas, Switch stood out as a unique blend of wit, sophistication, and crime-solving. Led by the engaging duo of Pete Ryan and Frank McBride, portrayed by Eddie Albert and Robert Wagner, the show carved its niche in television history. Interestingly, before gracing the small screen together, Albert and Wagner shared a lifelong friendship, with Albert being Wagner's first choice for the role of Frank McBride. Switch, produced by Universal Television, shared similarities with The Rockford Files, another notable production from the same studio. This connection added depth to Switch's legacy, placing it within a broader context of TV crime dramas of its time. In a surprising twist, the show featured a brief appearance by Natalie Wood, Robert Wagner's real-life wife, towards its conclusion. This cameo added a personal touch to the series and marked a unique moment in the show's history. As the curtain fell on Switch, the connections forged during its run continued to shape the careers of its cast members. Eddie Albert's collaboration with Sharon Bless in the post-Switch series Crash exemplified the enduring bonds formed during the show's production. Glass, in particular, found momentum in her television career post-Switch, solidifying her status as a notable figure in the TV landscape. The intertextual link between Switch and Robert Wagner's earlier venture, It Takes a Thief, further emphasized the interconnectedness of TV narratives and the actors who breathed life into them. This subtle nod to Wagner's television roots added an intriguing layer to the dialogues within Switch. In retrospect, Switch wasn't just a crime drama, it was a tapestry of connections, unexpected twists, and enduring bonds. From the camaraderie between Albert and Wagner to the off-screen collaborations that followed, the impact of Switch reverberated far beyond its crime-solving narratives. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of Switch, let the echoes of its enigmatic tales linger in the corridors of your memories. This timeless series has woven narratives that transcended eras, sparking flames of intrigue in the hearts of its viewers. As you embark on the journey of nostalgia, allow your mind to traverse the clandestine realms of its plot twists and character dynamics. Reflect on the moments when suspense gripped your senses and the characters became companions in the theater of your imagination. In the subtle nuances of Switch, perhaps you found reflections of your own journey parallels that stirred the depths of your emotions. It's not merely a series, it's a vessel that sailed through the waters of storytelling, leaving an indelible mark on the shores of your consciousness. Now, as we stand at the crossroads of reminiscence, I invite you to share the fragments of your own narrative. What memories does Switch evoke for you? What enigmatic twists still dance in the recesses of your thoughts? Your reflections are the threads that weave the rich tapestry of communal recollection, connecting fans across the vast expanse of time and space. Let the comments section be a forum where the echoes of Switch resonate through the shared experiences of its aficionados. Your words are the brush strokes that paint a collective portrait, a mural of appreciation for the intricacies that made Switch a masterpiece in the canvas of television history. Thank you for indulging in this voyage through the realms of Switch, for sharing your thoughts and memories. Your time and interest are the foundation on which the legacy of this series continues to thrive. Until we converge again in the corridors of shared nostalgia, may your reflections be as vivid as the scenes that unfolded on the small screen.